Well, Gibson, this is my 4 watt 808 nanometer laser tattoo remover. Uh, it's experimental, you use it at your own risk. Um, this is a quick instructional video. Right, first, you take off your laser condom. Ha ha ha. Alright, you got your key switch. Pop your key in. Turn it on. Wait for the screen to boot. You want to make sure. When you turn it on, you see where it says the word set, 0 to, that's your voltage, and then 3.9 to 4, depending on the rating on the diodes of the lasers that I build, but it should be within that range. If it's not, call me, get a hold of me, and we'll get it recalibrated. It should never be a problem, but just in case, you don't want to fire the laser at the wrong settings or you'll damage the laser head. Okay? And, laser head... I went through a lot of trouble to make sure that this thing lasts a long time. The cooling fan is floating free by design because it minimizes vibrations on the head. So don't think I was just being lazy. I went through a lot of trouble to figure that one out. Um, basically, uh, this is your on-off switch here. Alright, so when you press the laser on, you know, you press it and you'll see amperage and all that stuff showing up immediately. The laser is on. Turn it off. All right, now I'm just going to show you a quick best practice on this thing because you don't want to hit the same spot twice ever during a treatment. So you basically you hold the laser. There we go. Hold the laser. All right, so I'm going to draw lines through this design. I'm going to move just slow enough to to do what it needs to do. You're going to have to get your own little feel for this thing. And um, here we go. Come on to the side, baby. All right. So here we go. And as you can see, I'm just spacing the lines apart because I don't want extra heat in the tissue that doesn't need to be there. Now the next treatment, I, I'd hit the spots where I where it's darker because after it heals for two months, it'll be lighter. All right, and uh, I'm going a little. See, if you go too slow and you sit on it, you'll see you'll burn a hole right through two sets of paper here. You don't want to do that because it gets all the energy it needs right when it hits. The focal point is set exactly. All right, so turn the laser off, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. That spot that I sat on too much, you see where extra heat went through? You don't want that. So, all right, now if you look. Through here, put the camera up to there, you'll see where it blew right through the black ink on the paper. That's essentially what it does with your tattoo ink. My tattoo is gone. And uh, here's a picture of my tattoo on my shoulder using this type of laser. It's essentially gone. This one has a little scarring because I experimented a lot with older ones. This one doesn't do nearly as much problem with scarring or anything like that, especially if used properly, okay? So, um, any questions, you can email me at Gibson Attila, uh, G-I-B-S-O-N-A-T-T-I-L-A at yahoo.com. Thanks.